I graduated from high school that morning. I got in our Volkswagen van, went to a lake and sat there and said, now what do I do with the rest of my life? I was working at a hospital part time and I said, you know, I need to make some money. So I thought, I'm going to put off college. I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to waste anybody's money. So I'm just going to work full time. But I met my best friend that summer, Melva Jean. And Melva Jean said, uh, I don't think so. When I told her I wasn't going to go to college, she says, no, you need to keep going to college. You need to move on with your life. So after my sophomore year, I took one class. I took an elective. It was called Introduction to Radio Broadcasting. And I love the class. I realized that I like to help people tell stories. I like to hear stories. I like to put stories together. The woman wrote in to the radio station and said, you had a young woman on there who had a beautiful voice. And I think she's special and I think she can do something with that voice. Now, mind you, that was, I guess, my first fan letter. My first job out of college was in Montgomery, Alabama. I was the assignment desk editor. I was a reporter. I shot film and I was making $135 a week, but it was a great job. I started looking around and found a job as an anchor in Singapore, in Asia. And I moved there all by myself, not knowing anyone, I think in the whole continent. And I just said, I need to challenge myself. I tried and experimented with a lot of different classes. I was terrible in accounting and then I wind up being an anchor on CNBC, but that's because I found a business show where I could use my storytelling skills. But the most important thing I always did is I always listened. Everybody had a story to tell and I became a very good listener. Mm -hmm.